Hello there, people of the internet. How's everybody doing today? I'm not doing so well, guys. I'm not doing so well at all. Originally, I was gonna come out here and I was gonna show off my Mos Nagant. You guys have seen this before on the channel, although it looks a little different. This was my white and gold one. I went ahead and I took the gold paint off. I repainted it black. Um, I'm probably gonna take this out hunting and white and gold is not really a good color whenever you wanna go out hunting. I was gonna show this off, you know, blow some stuff up, have a cool video, but unfortunately I got some very bad news. A lot of you have probably heard by now, but there's probably some of you out there that have not. Uh, President Joe Biden has decided to place a ban on Russian ammunition. Now, if you like Russian ammunition, such as Barnall, such as Wolf, such as Red Army Standard, such as Tool Ammo, uh, basically your cheaper steel case plinking ammunition that you bring to the range and, you know, have fun with, uh, if you like that ammo, it's going to become unavailable for quite some time. I'm sure that some sort of loophole or some sort of workaround or some sort of something is going to come up but anything manufactured by Russia or passes through Russia, it looks like, is going to be banned. So, all of your cheap steel case ammunition basically is coming through or out of Russia. So, that's all going to be gone. Now, this right here is kind of a small channel. I am a very small channel basically everything that I do on this channel is completely out of my own pocket with some exception I have like very small patreon support I got YouTube monetization now um, but for the most part like everything's out of my own pocket and without the availability of the cheap steel case range ammo then as much as I hate to say it, but this channel's probably gonna die. And man, it breaks my heart thinking about it. Just, I can't afford to do what I do. And I can't afford to do it without running the cheap steel case stuff. That's why I run it. If I could afford the dollar round brass case stuff, then hey, I'd be doing that. But unfortunately, all I have is the steel, and the steel is no longer going to be a thing. Hopefully, somebody starts manufacturing cheap steel here in the U.S. or in some other country. We start getting another kind of import, or maybe there's going to be some sort of workaround, some sort of loophole, some sort of something. But there's a lot of people who say, you know, it's not going to happen, it's too popular. But look at the Chinese ammunition. That stuff used to be cheap and readily available, just like this Russian stuff. And that's no longer imported. So, I mean, I'm very upset. I'm very disheartened. I'm very broken up about this. And I want to say, for those people who voted for Joe Biden, and they were convinced that he was going to do okay just because they hated Trump so much. The Taliban, thanks to him, have completely taken over Afghanistan. They are supplied with billions of dollars of our own weaponry, which the commander-in-chief is saying that we ourselves are not allowed to own. I'm trying to stay calm with this video, but the Taliban have taken over. They're supplied with weapons that we can't even have. They didn't pay for any of those weapons. The thousands of American lives and the decades of warfare are basically wasted at this point because what we were trying to avoid is exactly what is happening over there. And for those people who said Joe Biden was gonna do absolutely nothing with firearms, guess what? Due to his executive actions and ban on ammunition, if this right here actually goes through, then my legacy, my ability to come out here and use my firearms, it's, it's done. It's done and over. I'm gonna try and stock up on as much cheap steel case as I can, you know, in case this, it's looking like this is actually gonna be a thing. 
And that's what's really disheartened, disheartening uh, about it. It looks like this is legitimate. It looks like this is real from all the sources that I've talked to, the people I've talked to, what I've managed to gather. It looks like this is legitimate. And I'm hoping that somebody somewhere does something. <laughs> I'm hoping somebody somewhere does something to allow us to get cheap steel case ammunition again. Because if we do not, then that's it. That's it for me. That's as far as I go. I'll burn off the ammo that I have and I'll try and make as much content as I can off of it. But I can only do so much. So I came out here to show off this 90, or not 9130, this here is a Type 53. Um, what I had done was originally I painted the stock white and I painted the uh, barrel receiver, the magazine well, the, the everything else like gold. And it was cool looking, but I want, I've, I've been trying to uh, think about what guns I have that I would consider to be beater guns. Like I have a uh, you know, Vita Mauser, Old Sketchy, I have uh, that Sporterized Carcano, um, and now I have this one. For the most part, my guns, I, I'm trying to like avoid scratching and beating them up, which is why I don't really want to take them out uh, in the field somewhere. I mean, there is some exceptions, but for, mo for the most part, I have collectible, desirable firearms, and I don't want to beat them up. And I have considered getting myself, you know, some more modern things, and I do have several of modern options, but the idea of being out in the field with military surplus is just too much fun <laughs> to pass up. So I decided to go ahead and get this rifle into a configuration that I'd feel comfortable taking it out into the field with. Uh, I just took the gold paint off for the most part, still have some remnants of it in some places. I repainted the stock black. Uh, I'm going to stick some sling swivels on this thing and this right here will be a really fun go-to hunting rifle. I'm going to get a muzzle brake for it just so I don't completely destroy myself whenever I shoot it. My god, this sucks. Ammunition is about to absolutely skyrocket in price. Cheap steel case stuff is about to absolutely skyrocket in price. The one thing, the one thing that I might be able to get on with the channel is military surplus ammunition from the United States, meaning brass case 223 and 762 NATO ammunition. But as far as the Mosins, as far as my AKs, my SKS, as far as the you know, running Tula through my AR-15, all that is basically a thing of the past. But I got plenty of 7.62 NATO rifles, and uh, in normal times, surplus 223, well, surplus 5.56 is uh, not all that expensive. So I might be able to keep this going a little while longer, but I am Honestly, I'm, I'm already at the end of my rope. <laughs> I've been I've been treading water with this channel for quite some time Just with everything that's been going on the skyrocketed ammo prices the the COVID-19 panic buying the massive demand and very low supply I've you know long since burned through my ammo reserves other than what I have for emergency situations and I've had to stock up on ammunition for the channel, and I've had to pay these higher prices for this ammunition. I tried waiting it out for it to go down for the, I mean, it has gone down quite a bit. And right as we're starting to see the ammunition start to semi get back to normal, this happens. And if this is legitimate, then this is something that will not go away. And I, I'm very fearful for for the future of this channel if this actually goes through. I'm not a big channel. I'm not Demo Ranch. I'm not Brandon Herrera. I'm not uh, Donut Operator. I'm not <laughs> Mr. Guns and Gear. I'm not any of these, you know, bigger name channels that have companies giving them ammunition so they can make their videos. I am buying all of this right out of my pocket and my wallet has already been bled dry. And if this 
does actually happen, then it's bad news. One of these days, one of these days, I'm going to fire my last rounds on this channel and I'll be like, all right guys, I'm out of ammunition. I've burned through my reserves and that's it. Obviously I'm gonna keep the stuff that I have for, you know, just in case situations. I do hope that I can continue to shoot as much as I do on this channel. I hope that, I hope something happens that makes it to where something's gotta happen. Some sort of manufacturer has gotta pop up somewhere that brings in more cheap steel case, but I don't think it's gonna be as cheap as it was. And I don't think they'll be able to, to match what Russia has been offering. I'm extraordinarily disheartened. But let's go ahead. I got five rounds for the Mosin here. Let's go ahead and run all five. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say at this point. I see Kevin over there. Kevin might make some noise whenever we start making some noise. Just a heads up. Ooh, nearly. The concussive blast of this is absolutely insane, which is exactly why I want a muzzle brake. What else was I going to say about this rifle? Oh yeah, the trigger on it is fantastic. Mainly because of the trigger and the extremely reliable safety on the Mosin the Gaunt uh, rifle system. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I want to bring this rifle out into the field in particular. I have no idea how heavy the trigger is. Like, it's obviously had some work done to it. But it's like, if I had to make a rough estimation, two to two and a half pounds, there's like no travel in it. There's just that crisp wall that you break through. And with the Mosin Nagant safety system, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with it. It holds the striker back versus like uh, a system that just blocks the trigger from being pulled. You know, your gun could still malfunction. Whereas this right here, there's like short of the receiver breaking in half, there's not anything that could really go wrong there. Let's see if I can bury that target into the dirt. At this point, I've got to really work on my marksmanship skills <laughs> and make sure that every round counts. So who else, who else, who else has anything to say about the situation? I know that I've got quite a bit that I'd like to say, but I'm not going to say it. You know what, just for fun, because the steel is like, you know, sagging down quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the dirt. We got a big pile of mud right there. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to shoot the dirt. We're just going to watch that mud absolutely fly into the sky. That'll be fun. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> we got mud that flew over and hit the car. Oh my god, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss shooting these Mosins. My god, I'm going to miss shooting these Mosins. Ah. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. I wish I had better news, but unfortunately, I do not. Yeah. Yeah. Bad news. Bad situation. Sun's starting to go down. Oh, I don't want to stop shooting, though, but I know I probably should. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, share, etc., etc. Keep an eye on this. I'm going to keep an eye on this. You guys go off. Have a fantastic day. I've done this.
Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> Poor man's Garen. <laughs> it's a shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.